I have two sources that have been at the Florida practices this week, and you won't believe what they told me. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hope all of you had a great Friday. Hope all of you had a great week. If not, hope this video can make it a little bit better. I got great news. We got college football this month, baby, so I hope all y'all are getting ready for that. We're about to start ramping up the videos. The MBG sweatshop will officially open on, when do we kick off? I believe the 29th, right? It's something like that I haven't checked, but long story short, the MBG sweatshop is about to start back up. That's great news for you guys, because that means a boatload of content, and it's, well, some not-so-good news for your boy Matt, because uh, it's the sweatshop. You know what it's like. Anyways, that is completely besides the point. I'm getting way too sidetracked. I've gathered all of you here today to get nice and comfy around the campfire, so get you some marshmallows, some Hershey bars, and graham crackers, because... We're about to talk about one of, if not the most interesting player in all college football. Everybody is so in tune with the Kermani McClain lore, and I'm not going to act dumb and act like I don't know why, because I do, and so do you. The reason Kermani has gathered all this attention and everybody's watching every single move isn't because of something good, it's because a lot of people think we're starting to see the beginning of his downfall, and that's entertaining to some people, and yeah, I'm not going to lie, it's interesting. Up until this point, we have slowly but surely watched the number one cornerback recruit, a former five-star recruit of that, ruin his livelihood. And it's not even like he's just ruining his career. It is his life and livelihood, whatever you want to call it, because football is everything for these guys. I've always believed in this. It's more than a game. You make it to the NFL, you're set for life. Most of y'all already know this. There is a lot to the Kermani McClain situation in lore. I mean, it would take at bare minimum 20, 25 minutes to explain. And since we've made so many videos on him already, just out of pure respect to uh, people that have been keeping up with it, I'm not giving you the backstory. Sorry, I'm not sorry. If you want to know what's going on, it's as simple as this. Go check out some of the previous videos. I recap it all. However, with that being said, I do want to remind all my people that have been watching these videos, we have new people coming to the channel every single day and they don't know what's going on. So if you are one of those people, I'll give you this much. The rest, like I said, you gotta watch the previous videos. Extremely long story short, Kermai McClain was a five-star recruit, very prestigious recruit at that, and he's a slacker. He's been slacking the past couple of years. Wasn't behaving at Colorado, goes to Florida as a walk-on, which was an insane story because it's not every day you see a former five-star walk-on at a program, and he gets to Florida and he's still slacking there. These were not rumors flying around on Twitter by some random Joe Schmoes. People within that Florida program, they attested to it. And the one thing I've stated over and over with Kermani is it's not anything major, it's just the little things like showing up to classes and showing up to workouts on time. And that's all it is. When he was at Florida, he was struggling showing up to practices, meetings, classes, etc. You name it, he just struggled showing up to it on time. So Florida said, all right, we got to punish him. And this is where things get kind of, I guess you'd say, laughable. He started showing up late to the punishments. For example, he was late to a meeting and they said, okay, since you was late, you're going to have to do a workout at 4.30 a.m. by yourself. That is where Kermani would then show up late to the punishment. So Florida's like, well, dang, that was the punishment. So what do we do now? How do we send this guy a message? So it then went from, okay, we're not just going to punish Kermani. We're going to punish other guys on the team for Kermani's mistakes. And it seemed like that got his attention. And I like that from Billy Napier and the staff because you win as a team and you lose as a team. And there's some other minor things that went on. But all you need to know is he wasn't thriving at Florida, and he was struggling early on. I believe the last time we talked about Kermani, hold on, I'm looking for it right here, hold on, hold on, yeah, it was over two weeks ago. Since then, haven't heard a single thing, I didn't really expect to, because it's off season. However, fall practices have started up, and these past couple of days, I've been making some phone calls. I have two sources that have been at the Florida practices this week, and you won't believe what they told me. For starters, I guess we got to start out with this, and I know a lot of you are going to say, Matt, should we really applaud this? Probably not, but I'm going to since I have been extremely harsh on Kermani, and I've been holding him to a high standard. I am proud to announce that Kermani McClain has been showing up on time. All the off-the-field problems have been non-existent these past couple of weeks, and especially for the fall practices. Like I said, I get it. I know a bunch of you are going to say, Matt, come on, man, that's the bare minimum, and I agree. It really is the bare minimum, but you got to remember who we're talking about. He hasn't been doing that up until this point, so this is a step in the right direction. The one thing you need to know about me is I'm going to be the first person to critique a player, but I'm also going to be the first person to give a player credit and props when it is earned and deserved. I'm really happy he's doing all the little things correctly, and despite what some of you may think, 
I want to see Cremine succeed, and I think many of you do as well. Believe me when I say this, if I had zero hope for him, I wouldn't even be talking about him. I'd already write him off as damaged goods. But I remember saying this when he was coming out of high school. Cremine's a good kid. Think about all the problems he's had these past couple of years. He's not a criminal. It's as simple as he can't show up to practices and workouts and meetings. That's not anything major. I hate to even say this, but it's almost like he's lazy. He has no motivation and drive. That's all it's been. He's never striked me as some hood dude who can't stay off of the streets. It's more so of he's a mama's boy. His mama's always telling him how great he is and he hangs around yes man. I'm going on a rant and tangent. The point is... No off-the-field problems, and he's showing up on time. Check. Now, once we get past all that, why don't you take a listen to this? Both of my sources that have been at these fall practices the past couple of days at Florida have also told me that Kermani looks good. Of course, I know you're wondering, because I asked the same thing. Okay, how good, though? Like, good, good, good? Like, you know, starting good or just, eh, kind of good? There's levels to it. And what they told me was kind of boring, to be quite frank honest with you. And it's not anything we didn't know leading up into this video. Kermani is talented and as gifted as any other player on this Florida roster. Right now, though, the glaring weakness, if you do want to point to something, is number one, he's got a lot to learn, which kind of goes hand in hand with number two. He's raw. When I say he's raw, what I'm referring to is he has a ton of potential, a crap ton, but he's barely even tapped into it. He doesn't know the playbook fully, the schemes, all that stuff. He's learning, and I think the best way to describe it He's a work in progress, which is totally fine. And if Cremani can just behave properly, it is a matter of time before he puts it together. Y'all know how I feel about the kid. I believe in him, and if I didn't, you know dang well, I'd tell you. Like the Jai Hall guy from Alabama who ruined his career? No. He's been damaged good the past couple of years. His life's over. But Cremani's life and career is not over. This dude can play, and another thing one of my sources told me is he's extremely fast and athletic. Which, yet again, I knew this, and you might have known this already keeping up with him in high school or Colorado, but you have to understand my sources around that Florida football program, this is their first time getting a real look at him. And it was music to my ears. I wish I could have saw my face during the phone call. I was smiling. Nobody loves a better comeback story than your boy, Matt. I do not enjoy sitting up here and talking bad about Kermani or any other player. Sometimes I just gotta do it. I'd much rather give you great updates like this. With all that great stuff being said, let's talk about this. Can he pick up the defense? Can he learn the scheme? Learn everything? And I guess you'd say, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Can he, what is, oh yeah, progress quick enough to play this year? It's a hard question because it's gonna come down to what type of Kermani are we getting? Is he going to go extremely hard like he's been these past couple of weeks from what I've heard? Or is he going to get lazy on us? We don't know. If I had to give you my best educated guess, he's not going to play much early on in the season. But I'd keep an eye on him, especially if that Florida defense is struggling. Maybe around week four, week five, week six, he gets in there. Who knows? I hope he gets in there. I hope he gets a shot. I do got to remind you. He is in the doghouse, so it's going to be a little bit harder. He's not the new five-star recruit coming out of high school that starts on a pedestal. No, he's got to work his way up. The five-star recruit that commits anywhere has a longer leash than the walk-on. That is Cormani's fault, though, and like they say, you got to reap what you sow. I just hope he makes the best out of this situation. Because more than likely, if he screws up this opportunity with Florida... It's, yeah, it's Dunzos. I did want to share this with y'all because I think many of you want to know what's going on. And it's been a while since we said anything good about Kermani. So, do want to give him some credit there. Let me know if that's down below. But, uh,